Hello and welcome to Skydio Release Notes. I'm Mark Flam, Director of Enterprise Customer Success, and today I'm excited to show you what's new for Skydio X2E. To improve the overall flying experience, we've updated obstacle avoidance margins and behaviors during flight. First, the overall obstacle avoidance margins have been adjusted to allow for more flexibility while flying. Second, we have also enhanced the way your drone behaves when navigating through narrow spaces. Skydio will use visual navigation and AI to dynamically reduce obstacle avoidance margins to temporarily move through narrow spaces. When moving through these narrow spaces, your drone will reduce speed automatically for added safety. Not only will your drone dynamically shrink its obstacle avoidance margin, but it will also expand its margin if the drone detects environmental dangers like wind. This will give you added protection when flying in high-risk environments. When enabled, the Stop It Structure feature enables precise movement at a structure. Obstacle avoidance is still active. However, instead of taking evasive actions when encountering an obstacle, your drone will slow down and allow for more precise maneuvering. Stop at Structure is a great feature to use if you need to perform a finely controlled manual inspection. Your Skydio X2 now has a maximum speed of 31 miles per hour or 14 meters per second during horizontal flight. You can also use the boost button to achieve much faster descent speeds. Your drone may move laterally to maintain stability while rapidly descending. Now, when piloting the Scout flight skill, you can select the Subject Find button, which allows you to reorient the perspective of the drone to look at the subject being tracked, either the Skydio Enterprise Controller or Skydio Beacon. This is helpful for maintaining your orientation during flight. Now with your Skydio X2, we're excited to offer you early access to a new feature, which gives you the ability to generate coordinates for a point of interest in two distinct ways. First, you can load Digital Terrain Elevation Data, or DTED maps, onto your drone. Using the terrain data as a reference, your drone will display the real-time coordinates of the ground level position at the center of your crosshairs. You must have DTED map data loaded for the specific location you are flying to use this feature. The second way you can generate coordinates is by using the new triangulation skill. Instead of using map data, the triangulation flight skill uses the drone's position combined with visual information to calculate GPS coordinates for the position of your crosshairs. As you fly, your camera will continue to stay locked onto your triangulated point of interest. We're excited to provide you an early look at both DTED and triangulation features. You'll notice that both features are currently labeled as being in beta. We encourage your feedback on these features as we continue to develop and refine them in preparation for a general availability launch. This new update introduces a number of enhancements to Skydio autonomy that improve overall quality and reduces latency while tracking a subject. This includes better subject detection, smooth mode, and other exciting features. To learn more about subject tracking improvements, visit our full release notes. Indoor Capture is a new 3D capture mode that allows you to scan large indoor spaces like factories, construction sites, or warehouses. To perform an indoor capture, set your floor, ceiling, and pillars as you usually would, then specify if you want to scan the inside of this volume, the outside of this volume, or both volumes combined. 3D Indoor Capture gives you maximum flexibility for your scan. You can choose to capture an entire indoor environment, or just capture a certain area of interest like a machine. With 3D Indoor Capture, you can even select a custom location to add to your image metadata. This will allow you to place your scan accurately in the world, even if you're operating in GPS-denied environments like large indoor spaces. We've updated the mapping behavior, resulting in more efficient scans in lower light environments. This will be particularly helpful for those use cases where you're scanning large indoor areas or inspecting the underside of a bridge. In addition, we've improved the gimbal speed while scanning. This will allow for faster image capture. These enhancements will benefit all 3D and 2D scan modes and result in higher quality reconstructions. 
we also have some exciting updates for Skydio Cloud. Now you can choose whether to optimize video quality for pilots or for viewers. Simply go into the video settings on your controller and select which one you want. If you choose to optimize video quality for the pilot, the connection between the controlling device and drone will be prioritized. If you choose to optimize video quality for viewers, the live streaming connection will be prioritized, resulting in better quality for live stream viewers. As you know, you can perform a media sync over a wireless network. Now you can perform a media sync over Ethernet for even faster upload to your Skydio Cloud account. Simply plug in your Ethernet to a USB-C to Ethernet adapter, then plug the USB-C into the drone. Like before, your media sync will automatically begin. Here at Skydio, we are committed to improving to so the best possible experience with our products. For more information related to this release, read our full release notes at skydio.com support. Thank you and fly safe.